Hello. Um, I wanted to come by and do a, vid a video, a little demo uh, from some crop tower fest and, you know, paper and stuff that we have. I have that left. And so I was trying to grab some things to see what I had that I wanted to put together. And so I have not made this demo, but anyway, hopefully it's going to turn out good. I have another one that I want to try, but anyway, we'll go with this. And so, first of all, I guess I should say that I am Connie Skaggs, and I'm from Aladson, South Carolina, right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, enjoy being a Creative Memories advisor. Enjoy doing uh, YouTube videos and tips for you. And so, uh, please uh, like or subscribe to my channel. And if you do not have a Creative Memories advisor, I'd be glad to do that. Um, if you'd want to go to my website, I have that linked uh, or uh, put in my description. And then you can uh, pull me up there and um, order from me. It's, uh, you know, it's just a way to um, have extra sales. And so um, I'm good with all of that. So, but if you have an advisor, you purchase your things from them. Not sure how much longer certain things of these will be able to be available. I do have a few of these things in stock, but, um, you know, that makes it a little bit harder if you're away uh, and things. But anyway, I'm going to use this. Um, it's called the Croptoberfest 2023 Accessory Pack. You could only get it if you got it in the bundle. And I think that bundle is gone now because something inside that bundle has sold out. And uh, but anyway, I'm going to use these, which is very similar to the Croptoberfest kit. And so um, in the same color palette and the blues and browns and with the owls and things. And so uh, anyway, this is I've just grabbed a few pieces of paper that I had left over from and a, an accessory pack. And I've got some scrap here that I'm going to use uh, for our mats. And so anyway, I'm going to change my camera and we'll get started. So, um, of course, I've got my 13, 13 inch mats and I to put two of them together so that I have a place for a two page spread. So this is going to be a two page spread. And what I've done is uh, there are two pages that look like that has this kind of like trees looking. The back side of it is all owls. And so I didn't necessarily need that side, but I wanted to kind of look this being looking kind of woodsy. And it's OK for both of those pages to be that way. Um, once I get them done, they can easily be just one page. And then this is another page out of it, which is a kind of a blue floral kind of. And it's got this lighter blue plaid, but I'm going to concentrate on using this side. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to take, um, oh, I guess an inch. Uh, let's see. I think I may be taking two inches off of it. So I can use that as a border someplace else. It's a good size for a border. Yeah. So I'm just going to take off a two inch strip and just set that aside. I don't know that I would need it on here. Then this piece of paper that I've got left, I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it uh, in, at six inches. And so we'll have two pieces. Hopefully these match up really close. Sometimes they're all just, just a smidgen, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. So, um, but anyway, the reason I cut the two inches off is I want to, and that might be wider than I wanted. I guess I needed to only cut an inch and a half off. So I uh, don't have another one of those papers available at the moment. But you know, I, uh, yeah, I really only wanted, I want a half inch around there. So. 
um, where it looks like about a half an inch. Yeah, so I should have only cut an inch off, I guess. Anyway, let me, uh, what I'm going to do, you know, Every so often you got something in mind, and this is not something I necessarily want to totally redo. So I'll we'll start with another piece of paper. So I just took one out of that other one. And uh, so anyway, there's an inch I need off of there, and that's probably right because I want a uh, half inch around it. inch off, we sign this, cut it at six inches. And the only reason is because I like to have a full 12 inch piece if I'm going to have a leftover piece. And so we'll see how this works. Could have just cut it in half and then trimmed it off, but this is giving me what I want. So I wanted about a half inch all the way around. And of course, you know, with this laying on my uh, mat, I can see where my half inch is. And so that makes it easy, uh, you know, for me to line that up. And so that's where that will go. And um, I have a couple blue mats here that I thought, okay, we'll just put them here like so. And then... I don't know how many even knows that we have what you call line paper. It's already got the lines on it. And it's in our regular paper packs. I think it's $10 for a package of 10, just like our car stock. But it's thinner. And it's plain on the other side. So if you wanted to use the other side, you could. There's no problem about it. Well, I had this little piece of a mat. And I thought, well, this will work good as a journal box. And so um, I am just going to put that real quick on here and I had cut that and five inches would have been fine because that but um this ends up being five and a quarter by three and a quarter it was one I already had a piece that was three and a quarter so I thought let me cut it off at five and a quarter and you know do that and so then I cut my paper, then at, I think it's three by five. So it makes this, um, or maybe it was four and a quarter. Let me see. This is two and three fourths by four and three fourths. Because I like the quarter inch all the way around. And so I like my borders a little wider, but you know, it's whatever. If you have a scrap of something, it could have been, you know, a little three by four or whatever. Didn't matter. It was what I had left over. So sometimes you just want to use what you have left over. So I'm just kind of centering, you know, bringing that in. It could go all the way to the edge if I wanted it to. Uh, if I want to bring it in about a quarter inch and I just kind of, I could bring it down if I wanted to. So, and I might do that because then that kind of gives these two, even though I'm not kind of angling that, uh, kind of gives that uh, look there. A uh, good place maybe for a title and the side over here. So I, whatever, I, as I used to say, whatever floats your boat, it's okay. So anyway, that would be those. Now I had this piece of paper left over. I love this plaid, you know, or the stripe, but I'm really interested in these trees and the browns because of the trees here. And, um, I thought these would make good mats. Now this is nine inches. Of course, I want my trees going up and down. And so I think four and a half is going to be good size for these. So I'm going to cut this four and a half. And that gives me two of these. And instead of just putting this straight across here to put your picture on, which you surely could, it could go right there. But, um, I think four and a half by three and a half is going to be good. If I do these, you know, sometimes our pictures, we just have three by fours that we want to put on. Or we do four and a half, three and a half, three and a half, three and a half is ten and a half. So it gives me enough to 
have, um, you know, a little border around them. Of course, you got a little scrap left. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So three and a half. Three and a half. And three and a half. Lay these out for our mats. And if I bring that in to where it's at a half inch, then these in the middle won't have as much of a border. So, see, that looks really good. I kind of like that. And this, got this. And you can still put a picture here. Um, it's not what I want there. I'm not sure I want to put that lighter blue there either. I think just leaving this plain or using a, a white. I'm not sure I like that that long just because um, I, I just I think I like it just a tad shorter. So uh, it's about cutting that, trimming that off a little bit. And of course, I've already got my glue on here. So I think so this being, let's make this at maybe four now. I think I like that just a little bit better, a little shorter on that. Sometimes you just have to play around with it. And this could actually be in the front or the side. I think I kind of like it that way, but you've got room now. One, two, three, four photos on this side, four, five photos on this side if you want to. And of course, we have this little bitty, this embellishment pack that they had with this. And how cute is, is all of this? We have all these little embellishments in here, which we'll pull them out so that you can um, see these. And you know, the one thing is this, this has got Croptoberfest on it, but if I wanted to move this over this side, I could actually put this here, because this is photo safe. You wanted to. Um, so maybe I like that there and this here. Maybe I'd want to even trim that down just a little bit. Make it about the same size as this other one. Maybe I want to trim this off. Just have another small one. Not sure. But let's uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, love this tree. But that kind of gets hidden there. Kind of looks good on here. I want to use it there. And uh, so we've, we've just got a, a lot of good stuff here. Um, some little, it's um, all, all yours, all yours, all yours. Those are cute. Some little tags here. Perfect for titles. You know, little, little owl. Uh, oh, I love these little these little owls. Cute. 
some uh, little feathers, some little um, hearts. So quite a few little embellishments. So it's not hard to find those. And this one is a little saying, birds of a feather flock together. Cute is that? So it's all good. It's all good. So you can see I've got plenty of things to choose from. Lots of uh, fun stuff. And so um, I was really, I do kind of like that. But I think I want it over here on something white. So let me see what I have here. It's a mat. Looks like it's the same size as that. So... In a quarter. Let's just do it down at three and a quarter. Let's go to half. I'm trying to get that tree in there. Three and a half by four and a half. So we'll just trim this down a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. Do love the tree. Maybe it makes my, maybe it'll be my, uh, you know, main cluster or something there. I'm not sure how I like that. Um, so anyway, not sure about that one. But I do like some of this other. And we put these up on little, um, you know, foam pads, make them elevate. You know, the tree don't look bad up on one of them, even. So, and you know, you'd want to have something, uh, you know, like your title. Uh, it could be in one of these, uh, you know. Just, well, I really like that. Those are my mats. So, you know, anyway. You know, I come up with all these things later and, and different ways to do them and a little heart there. It's got a little. So, you know, I mean, you don't have to use all of these, that's for sure. Uh, but just some fun things. Fun, fun things. So. And so you just, you never know what you're working with and, and what you're going to be. Um, you know, looking at and trying to do these together. So, but I thought that would be good. You've got plenty of room for pictures. Uh, yeah, these might be a little smaller, but how many times do we just go ahead and cut some of our pictures down and stuff? But we've got some landscape. We've got vertical, um, you know, so um, between your horse, horizontal, vertical, size it's uh, it's really perfect Let's see i could cover him up right there so what a hoot just put that one like that something like that even so you never know it just it's kind of neat the different ways that we've got that we can work these out so um but anyway just kind of showing you that so hopefully that gives you an idea of something to do. And of course, what I've done is I cut one inch off of a piece of paper, cut this in half at six inches. Then that gives me a good border around a piece of paper or a page. Uh, you can put this straight on a page. You can put it on cardstock if you want to put it in a top loading page. This was other pieces that I had that was scrap. I could use, you could use plain, just put your pictures up here. You don't even have to mat them. If you wanted to use more navy cardstock, you could use that. You could use a brown across through there, you know, or hot fudge or something. So anyway, just want to show you those. And then, of course, I showed you the line paper. You see our trimmer. I use, always use our trimmer. I mean, I use our repo tape. Um, the little embellishments, those packs were $2. So if there's any of this that is interesting to you or you want to see, and if it's not online, please contact me. Uh, it's Connie Skaggs at, um, you know, creativememories.com. I mean, you can just look me up there and it's 
it's easy to do, but I always put that in my uh, YouTube. And so, uh, but anyway, let me uh, scoot back over here. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what to do. A little quick demo. So, and as you saw, I cut paper and then I ended up cutting some more paper because sometimes it's not what I want and it's okay. And, and either way would have worked. Uh, you know, I had some blue here left. That could have been my mats at the top if I wanted to. I just wanted to pull that brown out because I just thought that with the trees and the trees in the background, that just kind of give it an illusion. And so I like that. Hopefully uh, this has been a, a great day for you. I'm getting back into doing some things after being out of town with the death and my family. And um, but hopefully I'll be back on schedule doing more demos and uh, you enjoying my YouTube videos. So thank you for today. I appreciate it very much. And again, this is Connie Skaggs from Latson, South Carolina. Thank you. Bye-bye.